Burglaries, two locations, two times. Football great Ron Dane has been the victim of crime. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Susan Simon. Dane is now missing important pieces of his Badger history. News 3's Jessica Arp spoke with Dane today and she joins us with more. Jess. Well, Dane says he's really not sure why he's been a victim of these crimes twice over now, but he is disappointed to say the least that some irreplaceable mementos of his achievements are gone. Badger football icon Ron Dane has plenty of memories of his big career moments. Two Rose Bowl wins. Ron Dane of the University of Wisconsin. Or taking home the Heisman. But missing now is the proof. My rings and uh, my Heisman ring, uh, a couple watches, uh, some bracelets. So, you know, just things that, you know, it was a lot of custom stuff. More than $100,000 in jewelry was stolen from his Wanakee home in early April, shortly after the home went up for sale. We have our share of burglaries, uh, but certainly none uh, that uh, reach, uh, very few that I can think of that ever reach that dollar amount. Now, just last weekend, a home Dane shares with a roommate was burglarized as well. A bracelet among the $40,000 in items stolen in the second burglary in two months. Well, it's hard to lose. You know, I... I really stopped wearing all that stuff, you know, a while ago. So I was just trying to keep it for my kids and pass it down to them. But, you know, now somebody had came and took it or whatever. So you know, hopefully I can, I don't know, find something. You know. Yeah. Dane says he doesn't know if he's being targeted, but police in Wanakee and Madison will now work together to search for a culprit. Well, once we were made aware of the, uh, the subsequent uh, burglary uh, in another jurisdiction, uh, obviously, as we do in all cases like that, uh, we contact uh, and reach out to that agency to see if we can work together and, and try to draw some comparisons and figure out if somehow they are related. I don't know, maybe if they try to pawn it or something like that, we hopefully can find something. Now, if you do have any information on either of these burglaries, you are asked to contact the Wanakee or Madison Police Departments with that information. Jessica Arp reporting. Just thanks.